Hello guys, I hope all of you are doing well and uh, the main purpose of making this video as you can see on my screen is to make you aware of how to use one touch pharmacology for either for revision or for the last leg of revision or even if you have not done entirely pharma then how using one touch pharma you can excel either in the NEET PG exam or the FMG exam. So many of you have asked for this video so I am doing that and uh, to begin with what is there in the book right the first of all many of you have messaged me sir we are finding it difficult to revise entire pharma and uh, for revision uh, how can we make it concise so I've done that for you I've concised my entire lecture the theory part into just 42 pages yes 42 pages with the use of judicious use of the space in one page I've tried to compile one topic in only one page, like anti-epileptics in one page, anti-arrhythmics in one page, pharmacokinetics in two pages, pharmacodynamics in two pages. So likewise, by using that, in 42 pages, I've tried to compile entire pharma. Now what that can do is, number one, reduce the burden for revision on you. Number two, when you have entire topic in one page, that creates a pictorial memory of that topic, irrespective of what exam you are preparing for, NEET PG, INISET, FMG, this is how this revision book is going to help you. Now, so apart from the 42 pages of theory, what else we have here? In this book, we have uh, uh, around three pages where I've given you some important images which can be asked in pharma. Around five to six pages, there are drugs of choice. Specifically, I have alphabetically arranged them. I have one page for antidotes of choice in this book. And finally, I've given you previous year's question of last three years in this book as well. So let's begin. I'll give you just a demo of how this book is color coded to help you for revision. And even if you are starting with pharma, then how this book can help you. So let's begin with decoding how to use one touch pharma for maximal benefit. So let's begin with the first topic, general pharma. Say, if you begin with general pharma, you know, the majority of the MCQs, they will come from pharmacokinetics and dynamics. But if you look at the page of introduction, we have some topics like definitions in pharma. We have some definitions in pharma and roots of drug administration as well. Now, if you look at, there are three colors I've used mostly in this book, black, blue and red. Now the black color, they are just for the terms or introduction like mechanism of action, side effect or the terms. Blue color I've used for those which have been uh, not yet asked in the exam or less probability of being asked or they've been asked but very rarely asked, right? But then so pharmacology, pharmacotherapeutics, chemotherapy. So pharmacology, pharmacotherapeutics have never been asked but chemotherapy, it has been asked and what they ask, I have coded in red color. So you have to annotate the previous year's question, right? But you don't have to do that with this book because I've already taken care of that by color coding the red color. Whatever you'll find in this book in red color, they are the PYQs, previous year's questions that have been asked in INI set, NEET PG or FMG. So it's gonna help you, right? So pharmacy or even drug, they have never been asked, right? But pharmacokinetics, it has been asked sometimes. What is pharmacokinetics? What is pharmacodynamics? Now look at the types of drugs. This is another topic, types of drugs. Now here, if you see in red color, I have marked one thing that is Schedule H. So what is a prescription drug? It is Schedule H drug. Now OTC drugs, they have never been asked. Essential drugs, it has only been once asked and they've asked you, I have, I have marked it in red color, that they are not FDC or fixed dose combination, they are single molecules. So I've only, only marked that part in red color. Second, orphan drugs. These are drugs for rare disease, so I've already marked that in red color. So similarly, spurious drug, they've asked you of 500 milligrams of tablet has only 250 milligrams. What is it? Spurious drug. So in these types of drugs, you can see you have to read everything, but your focus should be more only on the red color. So now let me tell you how to go about this. So if you have not at all started with pharma and you're beginning to start with this pharma, either with the main videos or revision videos. So you can use this book as a complement and go through these points and read each and every point if you're, if you're going for the first thing, right? First revision. But your focus should be more on the color coded, the red color ones, 
where the mcqs the chances of an mcq being asked is more much more now many students they have asked me sir we have done pharma from some other source can we use this book yes you can use it the reason being it does not matter uh, whatever platform you have used pharma is still pharma it has, it does not change right so these are the red color coded which you, you can use it this first category if you are starting with pharma right if you have never studied pharma i mean to say for competitive exams uh, suppose you are using it only for revision if you are using it only for revision it is first revision you can use it you can read the content because you have already studied it you don't need to watch any video anything just read it but focus more on the red points and at last going for the last revision how can i use this book for last revision so see when you go for the last revision uh, one small revision before before the uh, neat pg exam or fmg exam you don't need to read the entire book so you take one page for last revision what you need to do is just just go through the page and going through the page just go through the red points the red points like for example here see root of administration systemic oral it is usually not asked but here you can see rectal root what mcq they ask is how is it different from oral root 50% less of first pass metabolism intravenous the only thing they ask you which is the only root it with 100% bio availability right subcutaneous it can cause pain and necrosis so not to be given avoided by uh, intra uh, muscular root right and pulmonary root it is fastest effect that is iv more than pulmonary so these are the red points which i have marked here so you can just frequently go through these points similarly if you can go to pharmacokinetics you can say i mark the red points what whatever they ask you for example for absorption of a drug most common mechanism is passive diffusion and drug must be liquid soluble non polar unionized this is the basic stuffs but coming to handesel hasselbeck hasselbeck equation the only thing they have ever asked is what is pkr so i marked it in red color it has been asked multiple times bio availability there are two mcq points they ask you it depends upon what absorption and first pass metabolism and area under the curve or bio availability or f it is a marker of what this has been asked and your answer is what extent of absorption only root with, with 100% f for bio availability iv again i have marked in red color similarly concentration time curve rate of absorption is determined by t max so again i have marked this in red color so similarly if you go through this entire book you will find in distribution pharmacokinetics metabolism excretion i have marked those points which are important like you can see here in pharmacodynamics i marked drc in red color it means drc is very important right types of antagonism you can see i have marked here in red color only these points that what happens in competitive reversible or non competitive antagonism so that which means what this is my area of focus right pharmacodynamics if you look at receptors i have marked only few points which are important adr pharmacovigilance drug schedules right similarly here you can see clinical pharmacology clinical trial some points so with four to five pages will be done with uh, g pharma autonomic nervous system if you look at the introduction then there are only few red points which are important here for mcqs most are blue that means the blue colored points here uh, mcqs are not asked but they are important to understand the drugs so if you are doing a first reading you can read the entire content so that you can understand drugs but if you are just revising it then in that case just go through in this entire page there are few points above and only one point in receptor they ask you is beta 3 receptors they do what lipolysis or they are present in adipocytes it's the only point they ask so I marked it in red color similarly if we move ahead then parasympathomimetics in one page in one page entire classes in parasympathomimetics is here and here whatever are the important points like the most important points are drugs of choice so i have already you know marked them in red color what are the drugs of choice here or atropine atropinization what is the most commonly used or most specific marker of atropinization and other uses so parasympathomimetics in one page parasympathomimetics similarly in one page sympathomimetics in one page and sympathomimetics in one page and i've already marked which are the red points which are important for mcqs then finally we come to one page called as note page now this note page is important for whoever is doing the first reading right so we using if you are using this book entirely for your first reading you can do that so if you are watching a video or if you are doing q bank so suppose i am watching video 
or I'm doing QBank. And by doing that, if I get something new information, right, which is not in the book, and I think I, I should add that to the book, then you can use this note page that I've given, right? If you're using it only for revision, you don't need to do that, right? And, but if you're doing it for first reading, you can do that. So the notes page is for that purpose. Similarly, cardiovascular system. So what I've tried to do in CVS is again, one page, one, one topic, like antiarrhythmic drugs in one page. And if you remember, this was the latest MCQ asked. They'd asked you QT prolongation or this graph was given and this graph change is caused by which class of drug, which drug, quinidine. So all the antiarrhythmics in one page, heart failure in one page, right? And all the important points are color coded in red color, which are most important. Similarly, vasodilators are in one page. And again, see the important points, let us say calcium channel blockers. The drugs of choice are important. I've color coded them in red color. Two side effects which are commonly asked is what I've colored, uh, made it red color, that is constipation, ankle edema. Similarly, RAS inhibitor C, uh, the common side effects are never asked. So I've not, not made them red color, but contraindications are commonly asked. So I made them in red color. So similarly, if you go through other serious disorders like hypertension angina is in one page, hypolipidemic drugs it is in one page, and I have already color coded what are the important points here. And notes again comes. Similarly, kidney, the entire topic of kidney is just in one page, you can see. So I have used one page to discuss the entire army of diuretics in one page. Uh, sequentially, I have mentioned, mentioned the red color. Like for example, acetazolamide is drug of choice in mountain sickness is the most commonly asked MCQ, right? Or other, which is drug of choice in cerebral edema or which is drug of choice in case of pulmonary edema or the side effects, whichever they ask you. So I've color coded them the vasopressin and the related drugs. So one page, diuretics, you are done, right? Notes, then central nervous system, again, I've done the same thing. Anti-epileptic drugs in one page, all the important stuffs of anti-epileptic drugs. Uh, sedative hypnotics and neurodegenerative disorders in one page. Now see, sedative hypnotics, what I've color coded here, you don't need to remember the entire army of benzodiazepines. Just remember which are the short acting benzodiazepines. I've only color coded that and what they ask you which are safer in liver failure, elderly or which have no active metabolites. And you know, liver failure safer, it has been asked multiple times. I've color coded Remimazolam because it is the shortest acting benzodiazepine. It has a high probability of being asked. Others are drugs of choice or important points in Parkinson's disease etc which I have marked here. Opioids, alcohol and smoking dependence in one page, all the dependence in one page. Again, you can see the red color things, they are marked here, which are the important MCQ points. Antidepressants, antimania drugs. Now, if you look at antidepressants, for example, let me tell you. Uh, Mao inhibitors, have I color coded anything in red? Means MCQs are not asked. Tricyclic antidepressant, are they commonly used? No. So you can see in tricyclic antidepressant, there are very few points which have color coded. And one, one of the important here is the drug of choice in case of toxicity is sodium bicarbonate. This is the only color coded point because the reason being this is what is commonly asked, right? Sometimes they ask you about side effects where other receptor block like muscarinic block can cause urine retention or midriasis, right? And here sometimes they ask you like uh, in case of glaucoma, which antidepressant should not be used because of midriasis, your answer is tricyclic or BPH, again, your answer is tricyclic, SNRI, Mostly they ask you about which one causes withdrawal symptom. It is marked SSRI. Everything is important. So you can see here, SSRI have marked everything in red color, right? Side effects, see, side effect is in red color. It means all side effects are important. So similarly, lithium, you can see lithium. There, there is a lot of red in lithium. There is a lot of red in lithium, which means what? Lithium is a very important drug, right? Automatically.